Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. Dana is off tonight. He was murdered and then set on fire while celebrating his birthday. Rodney Stenger, seen here. Well, no, this is not Rodney Stenger, obviously. Well, strong seas that are moving across the area and eroding the beaches, a big problem. Then as we check the buoy, uh, buoys out shore. Sask Energy is announcing a proposal to jack off, uh, up the cost of heating your home by 27 to 30 percent. Now it is slut for this week, but you will see us on Monday again. Hey, do the woman stole the uh, more than $120,000 emergency vehicle, took it on a 50 mile joy ride. I had uh, the ambulance and I had a pretty good time driving it. Oh, bro, it's just like, dude, you get the best barrels ever, dude. Just like you pull in and you just get spit right out of them. And you just drop in and just smack the lip. Whoa, Drop down, snap, ah! and then after that, you just drop in, you just ride the barrel and get pitted, so pitted like that. Now, warm up continues pretty much all week long, so drop the clicker here. We're going to get that for you in a second, but just bear with me. We're going to see temperatures right now into the 50s. Oh, do I have to crawl? Okay. I'll crawl. Hold on. You guys won't see me. 56 degrees, 73 by noontime. Your afternoon high. Oh, you can see me. Oh, no. Okay, 69 degrees. I tried to be discreet. It didn't work. All right. Well, ad lib, uh, pfft, ad lib. <laughs> I didn't even see that in there. <laughs> so much for roasting Mark. for Mark ad since we, we couldn't be there. <laughs> well, I'm glad I caught that one. Uh, you know, there's no script for that one. There's no script for that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to ad lib for the roast. Mark, it's all true, whatever they said. All true. Even though I wasn't there. Good recovery. Yeah, let's go to the weather, okay? <laughs> if you're going to get wet, here's a good way to do it with Mahalani Richardson. Hey, Mahalani. And coming up at 547, we'll tell you about the flow master competition here at the Hawaiian Water Adventure Park. I don't think this rain jacket is really working. You're watching KITV4, your island television news this morning. We'll be right back. How the heck did I get this job? Coming up tonight on News 11 at 5, could the secret to having a smaller, smarter children lie in genius, excuse me, in a genius sperm bank? The sperm of men with high IQs was given to women around one country 26 years ago. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> so we'll see how that turns out. you got to wonder how that kind of experiment would turn out. <laughs> Then on News 11 at 6, we'll have more. <laughs> All right, you got me in so much trouble. You are in so you much trouble. You know what's trouble. not funny is the weather. That story had it's you choked up, eh? Yeah. Michael Jackson has set another record, this time at Sotheby's auction. A porcelain sculpture of the king of pop and his monkey sold for $5.6 million. It was only supposed to fetch $3 million. There it is. I didn't even. <laughs> it's, Roddy, it's Roddy McDowell from Planet of the Apes. No, no, no. I've never seen it's his monkey. The, it's Michael Jackson and Bubbles. Okay. And uh, it depicts him reclining with his arm around his famous pet. And someone actually paid my points. I'm not going to laugh at a sculpture. It probably took a lot of work and it's a very nice. million dollars for it. It's a lot of money. Let's get right to your turn All today. Right. Now, even if you're David Attenborough, it's not all that often you can get up close and personal with a big hairy ape. Well, now you do have your chance just down the road at the Adelaide Zoo. We hope. Well, apparently we don't. So it's... <laughs> Unfortunate, but we've um, got some showdown tickets to give away. Bruce, are you going to join us? I certainly am. Why don't you just pop into the chair beside us and tell us what you've got coming we'll up in sport? To make this up as we go. Coming up after the break, we do we... have some showdown tickets, Jane. Pop your mic on. I do have to get mic'd up first. Would you do that? That would be a very good thing to do. This is live television, folks. This is what happens when something goes wrong. <laughs> just in case anyone ever wonders or asks me again, <laughs> do we do this live? live? Vasectomies are meant to be a form of birth control, but a study in Thailand has bad... <laughs> Sorry, the video, I mean, so we're just looking right there. But a study in Thailand has bad... <laughs>
<laughs> but a study in Thailand has bad news for couples who want to reverse the vasectomy. They found reversing the procedure may raise the risk of... Can you tell about this video? I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. But I mean, the video is just focusing on just one area. Anyway, reversing the procedure may raise the risk of having babies with birth, birth defects. Researchers in Thailand study... <laughs> <laughs> studied 18 men who had their vasectomies reversed. That's how they came up with it. And I guess they There's looked very closely. There's nothing to see. Nothing to see. Uh, <laughs> we're just not talking. <laughs> and nothing to say either. Nothing Dan's to say. Like, can we move on? <laughs> can we move on? <laughs> Let's keep going. Maybe we shall. Okay. Yeah. Human body's an amazing oh, wow. thing. Lots to think about there. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry is a whole... No. <laughs> okay. Jerry, switch gear. Stop. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I'm not going to say anything. Uh, Go ahead. But tomorrow we uh, could have some stormy weather, yeah. Jerry. Yes, we will. We do have some storms out there tomorrow and a hot weekend ahead with temperatures over the weekend up to around 90 degrees. 82 out there today. 82 in Morris. 80 <laughs> Occasional showers and thunderstorms also <laughs> around midnight. 71 now at the <laughs> 73 midnight. 70 <laughs> Sunday, 91. Well, Robin Bryson got so sick of the mess. You know what she did? She hired somebody, a personal organizer, to get her garage in shape. This expert said the first thing to do is buy some organizing supplies like oh. baskets and storage units. She actually paid for that advice. <laughs> Next, empty out the garage. Duh. Make <laughs> piles of everything that belong together. For example, automotive supplies in one place, kids' toys in another. Oh, that kind of makes sense, right? Works. Here's another one good for you that this woman paid for. Donate or throw away stuff you don't use. Oh. Now, who'd have thought of that? <laughs> then put what's left back in a proper place. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me say that again. Put what's left back in the proper place. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, there's more, but you know. You Just hire that <laughs> person to, to come in over and do it for you if you can, or better yet, assign a teenager to that job. So anyway, Bob, you got your garage cleaned out for spring yet? Yeah, I'm, I, wait, I was taking down the notes here, and uh, I think I'll find it. <laughs> Did you like it, fails, Bob? Build a new garage, I guess. But, but first, let's take a look outside before we get to the seven-day planner. 50 degrees outside, winds are out of the northwest, 7 miles per hour, humidity 24%, dew point 16 degrees, barometer 30.06. Almanac, today's high, 72 degrees. It felt a little bit warmer today than 72, but that's where we were at. The normal for this time of year, 69. The low, 45. Sunrise, 648. Sunset, 442. Not a lot going on here. You can see pretty clear, a lot of high pressure moving through our area, and it's going to continue that way for the next few days. Few high clouds have moved in, but nothing of significance. Doppler radar, you can see lots of precipitation up here in the Midwest, a little bit in the Pacific Northwest, but things are looking fairly good. And we're having a little bit of Christmas, lots of snow and flurries, windy conditions on the Pacific Northwest. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. We've got to go to a break. Okay. Oh. Thank you very much, Jack, for yelling. We're going to go to a break. We'll be right back. Oh. Oh. Yes, and uh, a little bit more coming up and with sports. We've got some sports coming up, too. It's a wait-and-see approach in the NFL right now. Here's a look at the wedding dress made for supermodel. Well, not even else, the former or the future, Miss. <laughs> Let's. Why wait? Go over that name again, Steve. Tell what was that? You know what? Why don't you do it, Bill? No, I'm not the anchor, Steve. Melania, right? Why don't you go over? Why don't no, you do it? I'm not the anchor. Well, you know what? Then, then I'll pipe down over there during <laughs> well, the video. Well, well, then you? what then, Steve? Go ahead and do it, Bill. <laughs> it has 300 feet of satin. If you're not the anchor, then don't interrupt me. I would just, I wanted to know then what you said. if you're not the anchor, then Go, don't. baby, go. Go. The gown was designed by John Galliano for Christian Dior. And the bride plans another dress of your wing design after the couple's first dance. Wedding is set for Saturday. Why don't you give it a shot there, Bill? Hey, I'm just representing the audience. I'm just I heard, representing, you know, I heard, and I'm just saying. My bad, I, my just, bad. I'm sorry, Bill.
I'm not looking for an apology. Steve. I know. So I'm, I'm just saying. Sorry. Would you like to take another shot? No, I wouldn't. I, I don't. I can't take a shot at it. That's why I do the weather. I don't read that stuff. Right. It is so cold. It is outside. cold outside. <laughs> cold in here too. <laughs> Take a shot at the weather if you want. Oh, I don't, okay. <laughs> it don't matter. I'm me. good with that. Hey, dude, I'm. Okay. I, get, I get paid either way. Oh, you know, you're 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 cold. You're 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 the start the day. And uh, it will be a day where it will be a cold day. And it's time for birthdays. Let's take a look. Uh, Lou Brickin. Happy. I uh, hope your your big party goes smooth. Love, Beth. And let's see, Gabe Asher, happy birthday, Gabe, from your mom, dad, sister, and your brother. Dixie Normas, happy 48th birthday to you. And Emerson Biggins, you'll, ha you'll always be my girl. Happy birthday to you as well. Craven Moorhead, happy 21st birthday. That's been a while for me. You came a long way. Anita Lay, happy birthday to my sweet little girl, Anita. Mike Hunt, happy birthday to my hubby, Mike. Anita, hooray. Happy birthday, Anita, from your favorite son-in-law. And, uh, well, here we go. I forgot. We got some uh, anniversaries here. Donna and Harry Moe Lester, may this anniversary be our best. Let's see here. Mike and Julia Hawk, 23 years ago on this day, I found you love, Julia. Uh, Aster and Emma Royds. Uh, we love you too from the kids. Amy and Willie B. Hardigan. Happy anniversary, Mom and Dad. Love, Joseph. Billy, Bill and May Ann Nays. Happy anniversary to Bill and May Ann Nays. And then a Martha, or Huge and Martha, Hugh and Mar, uh, Erection. Happy anniversary to us, uh, to you. Love, honey, from Martha. Thing is in control over there. <laughs> On the news. So High five. High five. Oh, it's, Hi. It's for you. This is, of course, Dr. Kim Hammond and his, his friend Mikey. Mikey's this like a, a toddler on crack. This is, Mikey. <laughs> this is Mikey. And I have to tell you, you know, Mikey is, is an emissary for our lakes and our oceans and some of the. Rap uh oh, I'm losing oh. my chair now. A rapidly Mikey. disappearing um, ecosystem. And, and, you know, Mikey can come to your house and you can go see him. Hold on, yes. Mikey. Don't you want oh, Mikey in your house, everyone? You, you know, he'll come for a visit and he'll teach your kids a little bit. You can call the Falls Road Animal Hospital. They'll give you the name, but it's okay, a company's called Party, Party oh. Safari. All right. All right. What are you oh. doing? What's ooh, down not, there? Ooh, oh. Don't pull all the wires. Oh, boy. Okay. So anyway, we're actually going to try to get to some questions. It's a little difficult. It's a little distracting. Not too much, you know. Uh, why? Just a little. <laughs> this is a normal day in the Hammond household. Right. <laughs> Let's try to get to a question. This is from Roy. My cat's High diet five. consists of dry food and a treat of some moist cat food in the mornings. Right. He gets sick on occasion. The result looks like oh. he didn't even swallow or chew his food. Should this be something to worry about? No, it's not something to worry about, but you should definitely pursue that. And if, you know, sometimes well, with cats, when they get mm -hmm. sick, we use, you know, it's hair related or it's right. eating too fast or it's too rich mm -hmm. because the cats can throw up normally. So maybe use a little hairball medicine, give smaller portions, that okay. kind of stuff. All right, I'm a little, I'm a little lost now. Non-plus, okay. Mikey just got my scripts a little messed up, but I think their next question is from Sherry. Okay. Is that right? Okay. Okay. Oops. Great. No, 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 Great. No, no, no. Sherry says, I adopted a setter mix from the shelter after she okay. had been home right. for Hold a few on, months. Down. She became very itchy and lost clumps of hair. It resolved itself, but now three months later, it's back. Any okay. recommendations? Oh, oh, yeah, definitely, the definitely. The recommendations are go see your veterinarian because it could be a mange <laughs> problem or it could be an allergy problem. And it's absolutely something that can be taken care of, but you have to diagnose it. <laughs> Here's to the news. <laughs> Mikey, I need these. Okay. All right. Mikey, can we go to the next question? I'll read it off the screen. <laughs> Maybe Mikey will read it. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Okay, this is from... Uh, Jay Hillier, right, our dog was down. diagnosed with a ruptured knee ligament. Sit. Could you please yeah. talk about the procedures to correct it? Oh, you know, ruptured knee ligament's really simple. It's all surgery, and it's and depending on the type of the ligament, you know, sometimes a specialist has to do it, sometimes your veterinarian can do it. But basically, they go in there and they repair it, just like they repair a human ligament, and your your dog can come back almost 100%, depending on how much injury there is all to right. the knee. Will you let me know the next time Mike, Mike is doing <laughs> I will be calling in sick <laughs> By the way, what page are we on? <laughs> I, I... <laughs> All right. You can email your question to pet questions at the WBALchannel.com or you can visit our website. <laughs> or you can send us your question. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. 
Bye, Mikey. We gotta go. I'll see you later. Okay. Thanks so much for stopping by. Dr. Kim. Pleasure. I will talk to you later. All right. We'll be right back. You let it crap for that 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 for that